The question in today's video that hopefully we're going to answer is, well, it's a simple one, is if I've got a five wood lofted at 18 degrees and I've got a hybrid lofted at 18 degrees, then how do they perform any different? What are those differences and what makes one club maybe better than the other for you? Now I say for you, and that's an important factor in this video because it's key that what we're gonna look at is, well, we're trying to identify performance differences between the two. And if there are differences, they're gonna be, what, what do you want in your bag? Why might you choose one over the other? So what I might consider to be the best club in terms of performance for me, well, that might be quite different for you. Now, I did a very similar video very, very recently, and we looked at a seven wood and a four hybrid of the same loft. And prior to that video, I had the preconception that basically that the, the hybrid would launch the ball higher. It would travel a shorter distance simply because of the length of shaft and the size of the head. And to be honest with you, I got it completely wrong. So if I was to have those preconceptions again today, I'd probably be thinking exactly the same, but I can tell you, having already collected the data, that's not quite the case. Now these two clubs are very different in terms of their profile. As you can see, we're using the Stealth 5 wood and I'm using the Apex Hybrid. Like I said, loft are identical. There's been a bit of an adjustment made on the Apex Hybrid. But look at the size and profile of these two, but more importantly, not from underneath, look at what they look like at address. And they're quite, quite different. And I think that as in the previous video that I mentioned, what you've got to first ask yourself is which one gives you the most confidence to execute the shot that you're looking to play. And in many instances, I'm always drawn to the bigger club head simply because if I've got a choice between, let's say we're playing the first hole and I've got a choice of hitting an iron or driver, I'll always choose driver simply because I just think that bigger bulk and mass has got more help and assistance and more chance of me making a decent contact on the ball. So that's the first thing you've got to ask yourself, which profile out of these two is giving you most confidence. I'm going to hit a couple of balls on camera so I can give you my verdict in terms of well, what I'm seeing down range and whether or not that uh, sort of resonates back in the numbers when we look at data later on. But like I said in that previous clip, this bulky head sort of gives me plenty of confidence. It's not overly long the shaft, so I've got kind of control over this club head, and I'm a big fan of the kind of five and seven woods in the bag. That's a real great crunch that uh, that five wood has just fired the ball out there again. The surprising thing to me is just how, again, easy the five woods and the hybrids and the like are to play, no matter what brand you choose. And again, I see the same thing in virtually every video. If you're not playing sort of five woods, seven woods, three, four, five, six hybrids in your bag, then you're making the game maybe a little bit tougher than it needs to be. Right, let's go switch into the hybrid. I must admit, we're playing off a very, very short tee uh, that I've just placed this on. And I must admit, that was pretty much as good as I can hit the ball in terms of what I've just done with the, with the five wood. Now this is again, much smaller profile, shorter shaft, definitely feel closer to the ball. I didn't get that one quite as good, but again, I always like the fact that what happens to a golf ball when you don't hit the ball so well, and I've got to say, it's performed incredibly well in terms of where it's landed. It had a slightly lower ball flight, and uh, I say I didn't pick it up quite as well as the five hybrid. Let's give it another go. A better ball better ball flight and again judging from what i'm seeing as i'd have expected it to see is the five wood is the longer club slightly lower ball flight don't forget we're almost playing at 18 degrees this is bordering on a two hybrid so again you're starting to lose a little bit of the versatility that the hybrid offers i feel over playing fairway woods when you start to have this um sort of low loft on them so I think that's something you've also got to consider 
when you're looking at an 18 degree club in hand. So just to reiterate that point, what did I mean by loss of versatility? Well, one of the major sort of positives that I always pass on in terms of my thoughts on hybrids is just how versatile they are. And when you're talking about a perhaps a, um, I don't know, maybe a hybrid, a five hybrid with maybe 25 degrees worth of loft on it, uh, or more than that, then you've got plenty of loft to play it as a short uh, chipping iron almost around the greens. It's very easy to get out of rough. It makes things, that's where it becomes a more favorable club if that's what you're looking for, as opposed to a, um, a fairway wood of equivalent loft. But now when we get down to this end, when there's so, so little loft on it, I think you start to lose the versatility in that hybrid. And maybe the kind of shots that you're looking to play and where you'd use this type of club, maybe the five wood for me is starting to sway the balance in terms of it's got, it's got a little bit more to offer. But like I said in the beginning of this video, the key factors that we're now looking for in terms of data is what am I looking to replace in terms of where this is going in the bag? For me, a five wood a hybrid, two, three hybrid, whatever you want to call this, that versatility or lack of versatility element means that it's not going to be used a great deal in the bag. So in terms of the five wood, I'm looking to play it off the tee in terms of tight par fours, or if my game isn't that great with driver. And then I'm looking to play it off the fairway into long par fives. So the versatility element is not great in either of these clubs. And it starts to be one where you really got to, it's not going to be used a great deal in the bag. So you've really got to be confident that it's a club that's going to get plenty of use within that 14 club selection that you've got. And are there better ways to spend your money and fill your bag? So that's a big consideration. But that's the data that is going to tell us exactly where or where not this fits into my bag at least. Right, so like with the previous video I did with the sort of uh, four hybrid seven wood comparison, I said I had a preconception, got it completely wrong. And I think it's fair to say I probably got it wrong with this one as well. Um, I'm going to put the averages up on screen for you. The two hybrid, first of all, I'm going to call it a two hybrid. Don't forget 18 degrees, both of these. 216 in terms of carry, 224 the five wood. As we pretty much expected, length of shaft in itself was enough to sort of get that sort of almost 10 yard difference. And you see that from the club head speed, three mile an hour difference on average. So that can be, that's easily explainable and understandable. You've then got the launch angle, which is the bit that surprised me a little bit because with the seven wood compared to the four hybrid, the seven wood launched the ball a lot, lot higher. And don't forget there's things like obviously the shaft will make a difference and not been the shaft in uh, the same shaft in each of these clubs. So there's, there's going to be variables that we got to also consider, but it's a very similar shaft that we've got in the hybrid uh, in today's test. 12.6 and 12.5 were the average launch angle, so pretty much identical. I'll throw the full set of numbers up at the, uh, at the end for those of you who want to go through those in a bit finer detail. Spin number 3000 as opposed to 2893, and again, nothing to split them in terms of over an average, that's nothing at all, and you go to that land angle, and again, 36.8, 35.1, peak height, just seven feet separating them. <coughs> Excuse me. So whether with big differences, in terms of the four hybrid versus the seven wood, two hybrid versus five wood, the only real difference that I've seen in terms of data is how far the ball has carried, and that's just been relative to the length of shaft. So that bit, like I said, did surprise me. I thought we would see other differences in here that would suggest different performance factors. So for me, it comes back to what do I want the club for? Now, the first thing you're going to have to consider and why I always say the same thing, it's important that you go and get custom fit and see this data, is you really need to understand that carry distance and the difference between the two. Because visually, when I'm looking down range, and maybe if I'd have played these out on the course, I'm not seeing a great deal of difference, but with 10 yards on average, and to be honest with you, when you see the full data at the end, the five wood's got a couple of balls out there over 230 carry then the five wood is considerably longer. And that would be a key factor if I'm looking for a replacement off the tee because the yardage gains would be considerable and therefore sway me towards the five wood. And because I'm not losing anything in terms of the peak height is not a big deal in terms of what I'm looking for out of this. Uh, the spin number again is not a big deal in terms of what I'm looking for from this. Then the only other consideration then is from the fairway, a tight lay on the fairway, which would I rather play? And if I'm honest with you, 
I'm more than comfortable with the way the 5 would look. It presents enough loft. Again, depending on what model you choose, but I like a very sort of sleek and almost squashed down fairway wood because again, mentally, it just sits a lot nicer for me and suggests that I can pick the ball up a lot easier. I have no idea why, but that's in my head. So if I was making the decision right now, I'd be well and truly choosing the five wood over the hybrid because it just answers the questions that I would want in terms of a golf club's performance out there on the fairways. But like I said, that might be totally different for you. But in this sort of situation, I can't really see why you would justify putting the two hybrid in the bag. I'm not really sure what it offers. And really what it demonstrates as a uh, experiment is to me, fairway woods are good in terms of five wood, seven wood. I'm not, when you start to go a little bit lower off than that, I think the three, three fairways are very difficult for us to use. And it's very much vice versa in terms of the hybrids. I think two hybrids, maybe three hybrids, present a little bit of, a little bit more difficulty in terms of use, a little bit less versatility. So it's sort of that four, five, six, and seven hybrid where I really think they become a key product in terms of, uh, in average golfers' bags. Anyway, that's my thought process. It means nothing. The only thing that matters is what your thought process is. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree with my analysis? What did you think of the experiment? What did you think of the video overall? And if you did like it, give it a bit of a thumbs up. Get your comments down below. And I'm pretty much done. I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.